there are a few foods that I would recommend you start pigging out on because they contain almost zero calories. And this makes them the perfect weight loss foods. If you maximize on these foods, you'll be able to lose weight much faster and you won't struggle with hunger. Not only that, these foods are good for your overall health because they contain lots of nutrients. So make sure you add them to your diet. And the first food is bone broth. Now, before I tell you the number of calories in this amazing superfood, I'd like to tell you about one major benefit that you'll get from taking bone broth every day, and that is better skin health and looking younger. Bone broth contains amino acids that help form collagen, and collagen is good for improving your skin elasticity, and that will make you look younger. So by taking bone broth every day, you lose weight and look much younger. Not only that, it's good for people with conditions like osteoarthritis and arthritis because it improves bone health and strengthens your joints. So there's no reason not to take bone broth consistently. And you can take chicken or beef. Now, one cup contains 7 to 12 calories. That is unbelievable, isn't it? So if you take bone broth consistently, you'll be able to get so many benefits and not gain weight out of it. And you can even add ingredients like black pepper to eat. And that will even make it more nutritious. So take advantage of bone broth and add it to your diet. You can simply boil bones of chicken or bones of beef or buy the package one. Then the second option here is apples. Now, apples are the food that have the most calories in, on this list, but there's a good reason I included them. One medium apple contains about 95 calories. Now, the reason I included apples here be, is because they have high water content. About 86% of apples is water. And they also contain fiber. So if you're eating apples every day as a snack, you'll be able to control hunger. And there's a research out there showing that simply eating apples with a healthy diet can enhance weight loss. So instead of just snacking on processed snacks, this is one of the best snacks that you can take. And if you can't find apples, you can also substitute them with pears. They are a great alternative. Then the third food is also a fruit. Watermelon. Watermelon just like apple is very high in water content. It contains 90%. 90% of watermelon is water. It also contains fiber. But even more than that, it contains an amino acid called arginine. And this amino acid is good for enhancing fat burning. So by eating watermelon in between meals and even right before meals, you'll be able to control hunger because of the high water content and the fiber and enhance fat burning. So take advantage of this amazing fruit. And one cup of sliced watermelon contains about 46 calories. So it's not very high in calories as you can see. Then the fourth food is celery. Maybe you know people who drink celery juice every single morning. Now I know that's something that's very popular but it's not backed by science. By simply drinking celery juice every morning, it's not going to guarantee that you're going to lose weight. But it will improve your overall health because celery contains antioxidants which help fight inflammation. So there is a benefit to it. But if you really want to lose weight, I just recommend you stick to the stocks themselves because they only contain 16 calories in a cup. Now, the other challenge with taking the juice is that you'll miss out on the fiber, which is good for curbing hunger and uh, controlling your appetite. So, when it comes to celery, just find ways of adding it to your diet. The first thing that you want to do is look for recipes that contain celery, and that way you'll be able to add it to your diet. You can also try things like eating it with foods like proteins. proteins. So, you can eat it with eggs chicken, and so on. But you have to find ways of making it delicious so that you can eat it consistently. And the fifth food is 
cucumber. Maybe you're familiar with the cucumber diet. This is a diet that mainly contains cucumber and then you eat protein such as a fish, chicken and fish. Fish, I mean eggs, chicken and fish. Now with this diet, it's very effective because it's very low in calories, but I don't advocate for it because it's not healthy. So what you can do is just eat cucumbers and then eat lots of other foods. You, do, you don't just limit yourself to three protein foods and a cucumber. That's not healthy. So eat cucumber and other foods. And when it comes to cucumber, it's also very low in calories. Just almost as, simil as low in calories as celery. Because one cup of sliced cucumber contains less than 20 calories. So make sure you add cucumbers to your diet and you can eat them with those foods that I just mentioned which is eggs, chicken, fish and you can also make salads with them and find other ways of adding them to your diet like making cucumber soup. There are so many ways of adding this food to your diet. Finally is carrots. Now many of us when we hear of carrots we think of eye health. We know that they are good for our eyes because they contain beta carotene, but they also offer many other benefits. They contain potassium, which is good for fighting water retention. So if you've been on a high sodium diet, eating carrots can help fight water retention and that will instantly make you lighter. More than that, one cup contains about 50 calories. One cup of sliced carrots contains about 50 calories. So if you eat carrots consistently, raw carrots are the best because they are lower in calories than cooked ones. But the difference is minimal. So if you just prefer cooked ones, I would advise you go for them as well. Now when it comes to carrots, you can also snack on them in between meals or you can eat them right before a meal if you feel like you're going to be eating a high calorie meal. Or you're in a situation where you're going for a party and you don't want to overeat, you can just eat carrots before the meal and that will fill you before leaving home. And that will reduce the chances of you overeating once you get there. So there are so many ways of eating carrots. The best way is obviously just eating them raw. You can also take carrot juice every now and then, but don't take it every day. So these are the six foods that contain almost zero calories. If you maximize on these foods and eat them every single week and even some of them every single day, you'll get better results when you step on the scale. So make sure you add them to your diet. Now, if you need guidance on exactly what to eat, not just a few foods to snack on, check out the six weeks weight loss challenge in the link in the description below. On this guide, I'll show you exactly what to eat on every single meal, the best foods to snack on, the best drinks to take, and much more information. So check out the challenge by clicking the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. And also remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'll be uploading more videos every single day on how you can improve your diet and get fitter. So subscribe right now.